Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the new patch. I'm on my Stamden with a pretty basic one week setup with front bar the master's do wield running slashes will hit like crazy back bar phoenix moth perfectly made for wardens healing yourself on ally grants to attack minor courage and minor force so 10 percent extra crit damage and over 200 extra weapon spare damage only two seconds active cooldown really nice we don't use race against time on wardens we have our own class based snail removable with bird of prey so minor force is missing usually so in this case we even have minor force really nice as mythic that there's feet what else perfectly made for everyone we build and second five set piece is dragon's appetite we used this already on my magden really powerful especially in this patch since the status effects got reworked and buffed we give you flat 217 extra damage on every single ability on top it even heals for around 4 to 5k bursty really nice and this filler one pirate skeleton just for the extra armor 1.4k armor is around 2% damage mitigation armor types 5 medium armor one light armor and one heavy chest, reinforced chest for the extra armor, three impen, two well fitted and one sturdy. I should probably go with more into sturdy since I really block often on the stamden, then fully fuse on the jewelry, full weapon and spell damage glyphs. We don't need any recovery glyph to be honest. With dragon's appetite, we gain two stamina recovery bonuses, and with Phoenix Moth, oh, it's another two. So we have a ton of stamina recovery already. Front bar, Nirn Sharp. I've decided to use one maze and sword simply for more pen and more weapon and spell damage if you want to we could use even axes for more crit damage flame and poison shard and back bar classic eye stuff in defending for extra armor with the escapist poison for more cc immunity quick look on the skills growing swarm for minor wound and a powerful bleed damage dot deep fissure for minor major beach 9k penetration running slash and spam bird of prey snap removal also minor berserk and major expedition lotus blossom on the front bar for major savagery 12% crit rate and dawnbreaker as aggressive ultimate if you want you can put bull on the front bar like this you have even 4% more crit damage but i got used to it to play it on the back bar after 5-6 years playing Warden, so up to you. Elisa's only for the 3 powerful status effects. Burning Shield and Concussion, especially Shield, is extremely strong in Wardens, you know it, because of Glacial Presence. Increase the damage of your Shield status effect by 600. Unbuffed. Basically another proc set on top with this passive here. Bullnetch, the stamina one for more stamina recovery. Also free purge and gives the major brutality buff. Vigor self here and for minor resource 3k armor. Ice Fall to resistance buff also gives minor protection 5% damage mitigation. Arctic Blast, a must have for every one max player. Nice burst here, hits one 5 to 8k burst here, and even has a 2 second delayed AoE stun. On top, also applies the shield status effect since it deals force damage obviously. And Healing Thicket has defense food made. Another good option instead of Dawnbreaker and Healing Thicket is the Bear Ultimate Garden Savagery. Deals good amount of damage, is a targeted pet. So it makes it more tanky and has a ton of bleed damage. Really nice. Ray stun mob for the extra weapon spell damage, flame resistance, max magicka and stamina. If you want to use a tanky race, like for example Imperial or not, Mundus the Atonak, I need the extra magicka recovery. We have five magicka abilities to sustain. Smoke Bear Hunches buff food and Vamp Stage 3 for the Vamp passive. Undeath gives us the extra tankiness we need. Attribute points 39 points now, the rest in stamina. Like this, I'm at around 29k HP unbuffed, full buffed around 35k HP. And I don't even have the second passive of the Undaunted passive, so it would be even higher if you have the Undaunted leveled. Potions, the Tricer Potion, and CP is pretty basic with Warful Strike, Steady Aim. The Duel's Rebuff and Ironclad, I've decided to use two defensive CPs as solo player needed. A group player would probably be this Lord Ironclad for something like Mastered Arms. Red CPs is the Suffering Pain, Seafood Slippery and Celerity. Basic setup here. Combination Prebuff yourself with Bullnudge, Blossom, Ice Fortress, Arctic Blast and Vigor. Apply Illusas, Growing Swarm, followed by Deep Fissure into two Running Slashes, into Dawnbreaker. Followed by Ready Slash Bam. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. If you have questions, tap them down below. Don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below. It really helps. It's for free and I would really appreciate it, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.
Yeah,